15 million for Kyala and another 10 for Mount View for a clapped out smelter that could run out by next year. We are the rebrick it or we close it down completely. If this gas deal goes pear shaped, you could find a move to dump you. You're not serious. In spite of your unfortunate accusations back in London, I'd hoped we could be at least civil. Is that really necessary? Who's the uppy greenie? Who's the intellectual? But if it ever comes down to your frog and my guys again, the money's not on the frog, OK? Well, I'll make out. Oh, he dram. <laughs> no, I think I've had enough. You never told me he needed your gas. You didn't get an email from anybody about Mangalore Power? No, why? Suggesting they might dump us and switch to a different supplier. Oregon Gas and Oil. I think they're run by Sanko, Chilean mining company. Come on, Trev, get a move on. How's that cage looking? Yeah, good. Fix most of the nasties. Most. All of them. Haven't you, Fritz? Can't really say. That's why we do an inspection. But hopefully, yes. Luke, just checking the lift shaft and the radio links on 6 South. OK, boss. There you go. Then hopefully we can finish that Singapore order. Be handy. See how much time we've lost. When can we start blasting? Tonight, with any luck. As soon as Shane gets a nod from the union. We can... Not again. You're kidding me. What's the story, Felix? I don't know. It must be the census. Luke, can you override the safety? Up or down? Up, Luke, until we find out what's going on. There you go. Never worried. No. Well, order or no order, until it's fixed, and I mean properly fixed. I'm not asking those guys to go back. The lift shaft has depth sensors every 20 metres, all the way down. As the cage passes each sensor, the depth must match the cable wind-out, otherwise it trips the emergency switch. That halts the cage? Well, unless the sensors are faulty, yeah. Tell me about it. So how long before it's fixed? I think 48 hours, tops. Well, I can tell London that, because any longer we could lose the Singapore order. And with Mount View already under a query, What's the last thing we'll need? I don't see why not, assuming Shane can get the union to sign off. Well, that shouldn't be a problem as long as it passes a safety inspection. Right. Any news about any copper? No. 
I was out at the drill site yesterday, but nothing further. Even after confirming the fault line? And relocating the drill? Yes. I've asked for a full reassay of all the core samples, just to be certain. Anything else? Only the Rochipterus herbst. Fossilised plant remains found at Mount View recently in South Six. CAS is over at the university now, but they think they might be from the Upper Triassic period, and it would be great for us to get some photos before we start operations again. Shouldn't be a problem? No. Absolutely. Do you have a sec before you leave for London? Sure. You never found out who sent that email tipping us off. About Oregon gas and oil? No. I checked up. It turns out that Oregon is owned by Sanko. You know, the Chilean company. I didn't realise they were that big. No, nor did I. I've been thinking about what happened at the conference. Really, it's OK? No, it's not OK. I overstepped the mark. And it won't happen again. But this doesn't change the way that I feel towards you. I don't think we should be. So I think you should know that I've decided to find a new position. <sighs> well, you want to leave CCR? I think it's best. Yeah, I know some things between us have been hard to ignore, and, and I've tried my best to do that. No, you don't. But the fact is, even though I'm separated, I'm still married and I still have a family, and I don't think it's fair on anyone to start something new. Yeah, I know, I understand. But that doesn't make working with you any easier, which is why I think it's best if I leave. I don't want you to leave. With all that's going on around here, would you at least perhaps stay until after the AGM? I'd really appreciate it. I don't know. I'll have to see. No more copper, then. Hello? Hi, Dion. Yeah. Can I call you back? Thanks. I'm sorry? Well, seeing as I went out on a limb for you with HQ, it'd be nice to be bloody told. Piss off, Max. So you're going to be right to take your piggies once we're allowed to go back in there? Me? Well, who else can do it? I don't know, I just thought possibly because you're... fine, you know, everyone's wrapped up doing their own thing to worry about what you're doing. Shane! Oh, great. Just the man I want to see. Cool, bit of a surprise. Um, Kaz Cohen, Environmental Affairs. This is Curl Ridden, Kyla Workplace. Right? Environmental Affairs, I will. Better watch out for this bloke. Do I? Oh, he's not one for the groony, Shane. Mate, she's here to look for a fossil from the, uh, the what is it? The Upper Triassic. Truly, there you go. well, me. I'm more interested in this millennium, protecting guys from dud lifts and radio links. You're a bit far from home, are you, mate? This is Mount View, not Kyala. Didn't you hear? I got a promotion. What? Acting National Site Rep. So, when you need a final inspection, just give me a hoy. Because oh, okay. no one needs any complications, do they? Good for you. Yeah. Hey, Annie sends her best, too. Cool. <laughs> no problem? Ah, just worry about your fossils. Come on, over here. Ah, he's just stirring. I'd have done the same when I was workplace rep. How are we going here? Still refitting the depth sensors. So is that definitely what caused it? Guaranteed. OK, look, see you down there. No worries. Isn't that right, Fritz? Listen, I don't mind if you mention the war, but it's not Fritz or Hans or Schultz. It's Felix, OK? Felix? OK. OK. So did you fix the radio links? Those two. I still have to run a test, but this time I'm pretty sure. The idea being to get a blast off tonight, then we can get the all clear from Megan. You can do a final walkthrough with Curl. Oh, and that's when you can get your pick. And bada bing, we're in business. Good. 
I actually thought you were still over in the UK. How was it? It was frantic. We shot ten segments in six days. It's good to be back. Catch up with some old friends. Is that what I am? I don't know. You tell me. When do you head back to Mount View? Tomorrow. Listen, you're going to meet your Singapore order? <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting you're a journo. Well, the word in London is Albion's on the nose. Unless this year I can post some strong numbers, might be in strife. Look, I'm just concerned with getting the stuff out of the ground. Of course. Speaking of which, a close source tells me... Actually, Dion, this might be a really silly question, but you haven't been behind any anonymous messages recently, have you? No, uh, more than usual. Why? No matter. Go on. Anyway, a close source tells me that a certain headhunter has started quietly asking around on behalf of an unnamed senior geologist. Oh. It's just that if you are looking for a move, I need a new mining reporter. Someone who looks good on camera and knows what she's talking about. What happened to the last one? Personal differences. You're not for real. It'd only be occasional. You'd still keep your other job. But as you say, you just... Dig hole. Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> Believe you ran into Cleo? Aye. In town? She's with that new lad of hers. Rory? Yeah, she was seen before. Ah, they seem to go on well enough. Same again? As an executive for you, always asking the hard questions. You try your pal again? At Albion? So I had a wee chat. You wanted to know about flights, Mr Bond? Yes, Chile. In the Oregon. No Albion flights. But someone did inquire about a private booking. Who? Didn't get a name. But it was to Chile, via Baker City, Oregon. So, looking to resume full production. It's 12 hours since we blasted? Yeah, at least. It's just that at Mount View, we usually wait a good 16 before we go in. Make sure there's no movement. Except we both know when there's no history in that drive, 12 is OK. Given the need to fill this bloody order, I thought the sooner we make a start, the better. I don't need you to tell me how far behind me are, Max, or, or what it means for Mount View. I just need you to tell me that it's safe. The cage is definitely working OK. Now the new sensors are in. And the radio links? I want to make a last test when we do the inspection, but those two. OK. Well, I can't see anything geologically. And you say there's no history. No, not in 6 South. Certainly not by the time CCR's been operating it. Before then, you'd have to ask Trevor. He's the only one that goes back that far. Well, if you don't mind, then we can finish the inspection and move on. We'll see if I can find him. Thank you. There you go, mate. Thanks. OK, so when will you know when we go back in? All right, well, just keep me posted when you do. OK, thanks, Megan. Hey. Hello. You have the board? Yeah. I gather it may be a busy agenda. Oh? Look, can we have a word? I just want to see where we are. <laughs> where we are? Yeah. Last time I came, I actually stayed in a hotel. We haven't spoken to each other since the conference. Are you surprised after the way you treated my father? It has always become an, an obsession with you. Why on earth would he want to undermine you? What possible reason could he have? I have never been good enough for his only daughter. How about that? 
He hasn't been overseas, I suppose, in the past few weeks. No, he hasn't left London. Why? Uh, it doesn't matter. Sorry to disturb you, Brian. If I could just catch you before the meeting. Can I just have a sec? Sure. So where are we headed? I don't know. I asked for some time apart, and to be honest, nothing's really changed that. Why, where do you think it's going? When you first told me the thought of losing you, it felt too numbing to even consider. No? It's still pretty awful, and I'm not sure how I'd handle it. But unless something changes, I can't see ending any other way. Can you? So, if the fossils are related to the flora growing on top, they could help with studying climate change. Okay, Trevor reckons we're clear to go. So there's no history of instability? I just said so. Come on! Once the mine resumes, you're confident of meeting your order. With Singapore Metals, yeah. Good, because we're formally about to announce that Albion might be in Stuka. And while the plan was to get a reorganisation past the AGM, it might now be a case of trying to save the whole company. Which means relying upon the whole group, and especially CCR, to steady the ship, if you follow me. What's your say the performance of CCR determines what the fate of Albion? Absolutely. We think it might be crucial. Well, that's a hell of an ask. Well, it is. Which is why we're wondering if you've had any more information about who's been sabotaging CCR all this time. It's all right, Brian. We're all friends here. No, nothing yet. Unless you know who took a flight to Santiago last month via Oregon. Well, that was me. Why? Well, for much the same reason as before. I just couldn't say at the time. But we suspect whoever's been targeting CCR is in acting for Sanko. We're reliably informed that was at London Sanko office last month. Ian and Sanko. Two firms, similar assets, one failed leadership, makes sense. What, even enough to lie to your own colleagues or to your own daughter? If necessary. So destabilizing CCR destabilizes Albion, that puts the pressure on the Albion share? And unless we're wrong, we would expect a hostile bid by Sanko for Albion within the next 24 hours. Well, why not take this to the board or the authorities? Because even with your evidence, we still wouldn't have enough proof. All we could do is wait and be ready to act. Which is why it's vital you keep us advised. Especially if this copper contract looks like falling over. Go set with your camera. If you need any hotties in the background, I'm always available. Thank you. I'll keep you in mind. <laughs> All right. You want one for five, sir? One above, yes. I need to check the radio reception. It's disused, but you never know when we might need it. I thought you said we're 100%. Yep. 110, mate. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. Catch you. See you, Felix. OK. Six out. Fossils. That's them? Yeah. Oh, shit. Nah, it's just a rock talking to us. It's when you can't hear it, you worry. I'll try to remember. Wow. Uh, 
you okay if we do a final check, pick you up on the way back? Yep, cool. Okay. Uh, I'll provide the radio links are okay and stuff. I've asked Brian to sit in, and also Tess, uh, to update us on the restructure. But firstly, I'm sure you are aware of our falling uh, share price these past days, and while I don't know how the news got out, I do want to warn you that, um, given the current credit crisis, our ageing North Sea assets and our failed Russian venture, Albion, without the help of the wider group, may post a loss this year. Uh, how's it going? Yeah, all done. Done everything we need. What do you reckon? I uh, still have to find out about Five South. Where's your guy, anyway? Felix said he'd make his own way back. It's probably already back now. But that aside, it's all as good as it's ever going to be. Just left my camera case down there. Huh? Full memory card. Oh, six south. So, yeah. Okay, I'll give us a minute. Come on. Well, is this new mine going back on your own? If I can get this stuff signed off, I can get started on the new shift. You'll be sweet. You all right? Control room. Um, I'm in the lift and stuck again. Yeah, I can see on the monitor here. It's probably still one of the sensors. Is Felix there with you? No, I'm not sure where he is. Okay, just have to override it. Can you do that? Too easy. Just give us a sec. With Kayala, Cockatoo Creek, Mount View and Boab Point all on track to deliver return within expectations.
And you feel CCR's performance may compensate for Albion's? Because that's the suggestion. Except, that according to you, Kyala has only just recovered from a strike. Cockatoo Creek and Boab Point are not producing yet. And Mount View, apart from being out of copper, may well lose the one order it enjoys. Mount View has had delays, and I'm told mining should resume within hours. And if for some reason it doesn't? Then we might forfeit the order. And that will reassure the market, not to mention our shareholders. More so than CCR being sued, yeah. Perhaps, but... And please don't take this personally, Brian. Neither prospect is encouraging, is it? And why would I take it personally? What could possibly make me suspect that someone is undermining CCR? I beg your pardon. I, I'm sorry, Brian, but I really don't see where this is going. Do you deny acting for Sanko with a view to heading up a new Albion board if they gain control? What on earth are you talking about? Nigel, tell them what you told me. Show them the photo. Sorry, Brian. You must, you must be mistaken. I'm afraid I haven't got the faintest idea what you mean. Simon. What are you talking about? Uh, I, I've just been advised of a sustained buying of Albion shares for the past hour. Um, and while the number is still small, it would seem that the buyer is Sanko. What? Uh, I know nothing about this. I assure you. So what exactly is the problem? Well, same as before, we think. For some reason, we can't seem to isolate the cutout. We're trying, but I just thought that you should know. That's Kaz. OK, for now. But until we get her up and fix what's wrong, it's really hard to know how to fix the order. It's just possible we won't make it now. No. Right, OK. Thanks, Megan. I have to go. Yeah, of course. Rose, can you get a car for Brian and advise Gatwick? Sorry to leave you hanging before, but you did rather catch us by surprise. I think it was pretty damn gutless myself. I did warn you we had to keep a powder dry until we were sure. Can I still use the support? Now, what matters now, given the threat that Albion's facing, is the Singapore copper delivery. I assume you can still make it. I'll let you know. Hi, it's Megan. We're still trying to override the safety switch. Look, you didn't happen to see Felix on your way down by any chance, did you? No, why? Well, there's a possibility he may have rewired it. Shane's trying to locate him now. OK, so how much longer? I don't know, for sure. Look, I'm sorry, Kaz. We are going as fast as we can. OK, cool. Just let me know. Believe the cage is jammed again. Hey, you could say that. What's your greedy mate think about being stuck a car in the ground or she's too busy with her fossils? I don't know, mate. Not real wrapped, I imagine. All right, well, let me know when you got it sorted and we'll see about another safety inspection. Yeah, all right, cool. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now? Nah. Not that I can see. Kaz? No, it's still not moving. Kaz, can I call you back? Why? What's wrong? Nothing I know of. I just need to talk to Max. Just, just give me a sec. I've isolated the cutout, restored full power, still not budging up or down. Unless Felix rewired the emergency brakes to come on automatically. Yeah, I'm stuffed if I know why. Still couldn't raise him? Not answering. His tag's still on the hook next to Kaz's. What, he's still down there? Apparently. Although he also tried to get through to Trev earlier. Yeah, I must have been in the crusher room at the time. I only noticed when Shane told me. Have a listen. Trev. Felix. Just testing the final link on South 5 before... He didn't call back? No. But look, mate, you know, it could be a dud connection and he's still trying to fix it. He said he could be, a while. Nothing on the seismics? Ah, that would take a nuclear bomb for us to see anything up here. What time was the call exactly? 17.42. When was the lift? 
1742. Shit. You said it. What's happening? Kaz, just before the lift stopped, you didn't hear or feel anything, did you? What, like a vibration? Or a noise, perhaps? Um, just before I got in, there was a... It went quiet for a moment, then there was a... a rattle and some kind of sound. Um, but nothing huge or I'd have said. Why? I'm sorry, Kaz, but we think there might have been a small rock burst. A rock burst? Yeah, most likely on the level just above you that's caused the lift to jam. That's not particularly good, is it? No. We're just about to decide how to deal with it. And there's lots of ways. But it's not wonderful. And until we know the full extent, we'll need to take things carefully. But don't worry, Kaz, we're going to get you out as soon as we can. From what we can gather, the lift is stuck here between 5 South and 6 South because of a delayed rock fracture in 5 South impacting on the transport guides. It was only from the 6 South blast. Yeah. What we don't know is how badly damaged the guides are. What about the oil skip? No good. It's jammed in the same place. I guess for the same reason. Meaning both shafts aren't working. So what's the quickest? Bring a crane in, send a rescue team down? Probably. Drop a bucket down the main shaft, which appears to still be intact, and take it from there. How long? We've got a crane, all right. Just a question of access. A couple of hours to set up plus another couple. Once we can lower a crew down, check it out, at least get your girly out. So what, four hours all up? If we can get access. OK, let's try it. All right. I, um, I ask you compliment. OK. With the vent shaft, she's got air. Felix, too, with only luck. And she's got water with her. Oh, and she wanted to talk to you once we knew what was happening. Me? Beautiful. Only just heard. God knows where this leaves us. Well, when you need a crew, let me know, huh? Four hours? Tops. Are you okay with that? May I have a choice? Hey, um, Megan said that you asked for me. If I tell you something, Shane, will you swear you won't tell Megan or Max? Yeah, sure. I'm stuck in a box hundreds of metres underground. I know you've got problems getting me out. No, no, hang on. No one said anything about that. Don't bullshit me, Shane. You might piss me off at times, in fact, most times, but you're always straight with me. Right. First. If you do tell anyone, I'll put your balls through the oil crusher. I'm claustrophobic. That's handy. Especially in this job, which, assuming I do get out of here, I would actually like to keep. That's why Megan and Max can't know. And why you might have to humour me a bit. How is she? Okay. Okay, go. Second, I'm busting for a pee. <laughs> oh, I can't help you there. No, we're still trying to get the crane in. OK. OK, Brian, I'll see you then. Mumbai, he's coming in direct. How's it going? Not easy. With all the head freight, they're still trying to get in. I deliberately didn't say anything before, but I thought you cleared 6 and 5 South to go back in. I did. Then why do we have a bloody rock burst and two missing? I don't know. Because if I thought for one moment, Max, that you'd somehow compromise safety in the hope of keeping this mine open... Is that what you're saying, is it? I'm saying when this is all over... I expect a full explanation. What a nice 
fossilised plants may be related to those ones down there today. Exactly. If they are similar species and ecologists then possibly makes comparison on climate change. Right. You'd be interested. Oh, no, seriously, I, I, it's just because I never knew. And uh, speaking of recycling, how did you go with the... Um... Yeah, good. I've used the sample jar. And crib? Still got a pear and a muesli bar. What happened to the tech guy? Did you end up finding him? No. He's down here, isn't he? Isn't he? Yeah, Kaz. Yeah. <gasps> oh, my God. Uh, Kaz, I'm sorry. For what? For not going back down with you. I want to have it both of you. Fantastic, couldn't think of anything better. What was that? Rock falling, I think. Big or small? Um, small. Okay. Is it still falling? No, it stopped. So can you please get me out of here? Whether we use a crane or end up having a climb down, it's a case of how much longer she can cope before we go in. Well, at least six hours until we're confident these levels are stable. She's gonna love that. She's got bits of debris falling. Maybe, but dropping the bucket down is one thing. Licking it down 100 metres with sus rock around is another. I don't want to lose any more. Yeah, I well, know. All right, I am gonna be one of the blokes going in, and I think it's too long to wait, especially with all the debris piling up. There's still one other option. So, like I say, whichever way we go in, It'll still take a while, but we'll definitely be able to reach it. Kaz. Kaz. I don't think I can do it, Shane. You'll be fine. Now, in the meantime, can you tell me if you hear any more rocks fall? No, not for the moment. Why? Max wants to try something else. Like what? You ready, Kaz? Yeah. OK, the damage to the guide seems limited. So we're going to apply power and hopefully push the lift up past the distorted part. OK? OK. You tell me when it starts to move. It's just a tension trip cutting in along with a break. Kaz, hey, it's me again. It's all right, okay, it's safe. Stop me to move again. Okay. Just leave me alone. Kaz. Just leave me alone. Kaz. Kaz. She, she's going to need some time now. When you're ready, let me know. Uh, 
How long has it been now? She's been in there 18 hours. How is she? Not brilliant. We still haven't heard from the other guy either. Do we know the cause yet? Not entirely, no. So where do we stand now? Bench shaft access. Still can't get the cranes in, so we're going to have to go down five levels by foot. We were going to go in before, but we held back. A sensor we put in suggested potential instability. We now think it's just settlement. Which leaves us where? Well, there's no totally right answer, but... The general feeling is... We should go in. Hey, uh, how many greenies does it take to change a light bulb? Six. One to change a light bulb. Two to do an environmental impact study. Three to argue about the lack of sustainability to start with. Crick. How you going? Just sweating my ass off. At least it stops me peeing. You might need to brush out for the cameras, just in case you make the news. That's all I bloody need. Why? What's happening? All right, we're about to make a start, honey. We've got one tiny problem. See a trap door above you. Yeah, what about it? Well, we've got a bit of a problem with the load. With us trying to ramp up with all the debris, we might need you to climb it. You're kidding. Who's our number four? That'd be me. You sure about that? My watch, my call. I'd better do this media update. They're back at head office with the police and the mines inspector. Okay. I uh, spoke to Singapore Mentals. They've given us another 48 hours to meet the order. Well, if it's what I think it is, it's gonna. We're gonna be out longer than that. I know. Which is why I need a list of alternate suppliers for tomorrow. All right, we're just about to leave one south. Seeing how things are looking. All right, so good here. How are you, Kat? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. stuff falling on the roof. I'd, I'd say that's probably just settling like we thought, right? There's nothing here. So how much longer? Not long. See if I can get through.
Hello. Hi. Hello. Right. When you step across, see my foot? Right there. No, I can't. I can't. Cash, relax, you can. I know you can. Ready? Good. Go. Oh. You're right, I got you. Okay. See this? Right. So that we're together, okay? Right. I'm gonna go up. Right here. Now give me this. You sure you wanna bring that? Oh, you think I'd leave it bloody behind after all this? Both hands up here. I know you can reach. Good. Okay. And I've got your back. One, two, three. Ow. Give me a hand. Here, here. You all right? That's the way here. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. Come on. Come on. That's the way. This is mate. Luke? I guess we'll have to come back for Fritzy in the morning. Felix. His name is Felix. Felix. Better go and have a word to Felix's wife. Megan and I have already spoken to her. Yeah, sure. But I knew her. After the doctor and everything, can we maybe just go somewhere? I wasn't sure I'd still find you. Funny. You work your ass off for 20 years. Makes you feel sick when something like this happens. Won't survive now, will it? The mine. It's Mulder too, for that matter. Now that five and six are rooted. Why well, not? So we check it out. Is that why you never mentioned this? Mention what? A seismic report from 19 years ago when the mine first opened. About a suspected rock burst in Five South. Mate, if I'd have thought it had mattered. Saying Six South had no history. It hadn't. No, it hadn't. But Five South had. And if I'd known that, I'd never have sent those blokes down there. Just as you should know. Couldn't put a word in for me, could you, mate? No, Trev. Not this time. I'm sorry, mate. You know what's needed. Just a report and your resignation.
19 years ago. Thank you. I'm sorry, Max, if I jumped to any wrong conclusions. No more than usual. It's okay. You would have done the same. Like that? No way. Also, just meant thanks for copying all my bullshit and not telling anyone. You didn't, did you? No, no. But it's going in a report. <laughs> I know this is a mistake. And it's on strict condition that neither of us ever, ever refer to it again. I also told Singapore Metals, but it seems they'd already found a new supplier. Sanko. Yeah, yeah. It's a little ironic. Okay, Nigel. Thanks. Haven't had a chance to ask you. I don't suppose you've changed your mind about leaving? No, not really. Just feel you did such a terrific job these last few days. A great shame for CCR to lose you. Except it's not about the job, Brian. It's about you. I will stay until the AGM. Thank you. Odd. What? It's another one of those emails. Anonymous again? Yeah. Suggesting someone told Sanko that CCR may not meet its copper order. Who, your father in law? Well, that's what's odd. At the time this was sent, I don't see how we could have known anything about it. I think I've just worked out who's been trying to shaft me. <laughs> <laughs> 